Back in August, I released a video about the M8 motorway and having uploaded it, I started to see several comments all asking the same thing. What's that F1 car driving on the motorway? What F1 car? Despite filming and editing the footage all by myself, I never even noticed it. It was only when I looked back over the video following all the comments that I saw what many others had, an F1 car driving on the motorway. And not just any motorway, the inner city section of the M8 motorway in Glasgow, which is shite. This poses many questions and with the comments continuing to come in asking about this peculiar vehicle, Curiosity got the better of me and I had to find out what this car was and perhaps more importantly who's the nutter driving it around at 4pm on a Wednesday afternoon. Well I'm delighted to say that I've managed to track the owner down and he's agreed to come and show us the car and explain what all of this tomfoolery is about. So let's go say hello. Everybody's got their own thing, whether it be focusing on maybe work, whatever. For me, I pull the cars. I don't know how it probably fascinated with cars really. And when you grow up you used to have the wee matchbox cars and so forth. It's nice to have cars on show and that, but you, it's about the experience driving them. You've got to get that experience. Is that a council pass? No, it's not. Ah, sorry. I haven't paid Ready. for parking. Hello! Ah, Alan, hello welcome to the hello channel. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. So I think we all have a an early first car memory, like when we were that well, sort of my age. My mum and dad didn't have a car, but my auntie's and uncles did. Right. And my uncle, I remember him having a Mark II Cortina back when I was a, a wee boy. And that would have been quite new back then. Probably Mark III Cortinas were maybe just out at that point, because it looked, back then it looked something, you know, yeah. back then. What was your first car, when, when did you get your licence? What was your first car then? Oh, I had to use my mum's car. Yeah. I'd spent money on that, and I used to look after that, maintain it. Yeah. Done it up with all the, the usual nonsense, the lights. Big stereo no, system? No at the time, no, I didn't have the money for that. I was sure. in a good good job position at the time. I've got a wide, a wide taste in cars. I've mainly been into my classic cars. Some folk will go, what did you buy that for? Well, I bought it for me. You yes. don't buy a car for somebody else, you buy it because you, something yeah. you like, maybe it's performance, maybe it's the looks. What is this car? So who, let's get into it. Who makes it? Um, uh, it's a Ferrari. A Ferrari? That's what, that's what he called the company. Okay. When he, when he started the company. Doing it at uh, Benfleet. Down Benfleet, in London. right, yeah. Because uh, I went down to meet the guy when I was buying the car. I've got a Toyota engine in it, easy to service. Uh, it's like a box section chassis. Right, okay. Uh, it's a lightweight. We did upgrade the two bottom parts for the same the same gauge yes well the same same size but a thicker gauge to cope with the, the bumps in the road the ferrari formula car is the brainchild of essex-based russell boast after decades of thought and design the first ferrari formula car was made available for sale in 2009. the chassis comes from ford's formula cars but it's been modified to suit ferrari's design the total weight is around 560 kilograms and originally it would have come with a choice of the standard 1.6 Toyota 4 AGE engine or the more spicy Kawasaki ZZR 1400, giving you a car with 400 brake horsepower per tonne. How many are there? There can't be many. There's, well that was supposed to be one of six in the UK. One of but six? When I, when I bought that, I, there's no many. They, there's maybe another few like, dotted around in the world, they, like Germany, they, Hong Kong. Wow. Uh, I think it was Canada. One of the key USPs of these cars, there's a second seat, which is behind where that airbox cover on the top right, is, that the... comes off, um, and there's another seat there. Um, so you can drive with a passenger. Mm -hmm. It's all sing it's single single file, I suppose. So it must be same, quite- Same kind of seat with a harness as that. You've no get leg room. It's no for the long journey, it's no for a passenger. What's it like to drive this car because it, it, it's not a, it's not your regular Ford There's hatchback, no comfort. is it? It's all adjusted for, to cope with the bumps. It's in a soft setting. Right. As soft as can be. You've not much meat up front, so it can be a bit light. It just takes a wee bit getting used to. It definitely is an experience. You feel it's, every bit in the road. It's basically built for the track, but it's set up for the road. You must get attention like nobody's uh, business driving time. this. Yeah. It's not it's no to get attention. I just, it's... I like something different, and uh, never would have thought when one came up for sale, I'd end up, I, I, I've got to have that, you know. I, I guess they don't come up for sale that often. No. As far as I know, when I bought that, uh, there was, it was one of six, so there <laughs> might be somebody building another one, you never know. How do you insure this? Because you can't just phone up Admiral and be like, I've got a Ferrari no, Formula car. No, because a lot of them will know what it is. Yeah, exactly. The insurance 
that I'm with the new at first I never clue. Of course. To, to send them pictures. Yeah. So I'll email, email you pictures because how many doors has it got? The insurance company said, how many doors has your car got? Um, none. Aye, exactly. Uh, they even gave me windscreen cover. Are you shitting me? For the I'm, deflector. I'll, I'll cut to some B-roll of that windscreen because it's marvellous yet pointless. Oh, you can make Why it yourself. Why do you want windscreen cover for that? Is it made of acrylic or whatever? Uh, it's perspex, a whatever. perspex, whatever you call it. Aye, it's quite thin. Uh, I hope they gave you the windscreen cover for nothing. It's part of the policy, they couldn't take it off. It is what it is really, it's just, it's as you see it, and when you see the pictures, like, oh, eh, uh, right, okay. So it's the sounds of a Fiesta Z set in the background, just reversing it. We're about to get rained on, I suspect, it's as well. It's not too is, bad to know. Uh, uh, I'll put subtitles okay. on for that, by the way. What he meant was it's not too bad right now. <laughs> Thank you very much for showing us the car. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed this slightly different video, mm -hmm. and it was very nice to meet Alan. Thank you for agreeing sure. to come on and show us all of the, the stuff about it. I guess now we're, we, we can head up into the hills and go for a little drive and have some fun as long as Aye. the weather permits. So that's probably what we're going to do. We'll see you then. So there we are, curiosity satisfied, I hope. We met a bloody nice bloke and we learned about a car that until all of this came about, I had no idea existed. A big thanks to Alan for agreeing to come and meet some idiot off the internet wanting to make videos, having tracked him down via social media in the most definitely not stalkerish way. Thanks very much to you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. There is a button specifically for that. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. We'll see you next time. Take care.